I'd like to introduce you to someone. His name is Nash. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Nash was killed by a maniac on a snowmobile after he terrorized two dog sled teams in this year's Iditarod Trail race. Several other dogs were seriously injured in the attacks as well. Fortunately, they caught the man responsible, and he's now being charged with a colorful list of things. Two counts felony third degree assault, three counts reckless driving, one count reckless endangerment, six counts fifth degree criminal mischief. Well, serves him right. But if I translate those charges into English, you may see something eerily lacking. Two counts making the mushers fear for their lives with his snowmobile, three counts of driving like an idiot, one count of dangerously driving like an idiot, and six counts of damage to property. What you may notice lacking in this list is any animal cruelty charges. How can that be? Well, it turns out that because Nash was a sled dog in a sled dog contest, namely the Iditarod Trail Race, the animal cruelty laws don't apply to him. Therefore, for killing him and injuring several other dogs, the man in question is only being charged with damage to property. What's more, even if the animal cruelty laws listed applied to dogs and races like the Iditarod, there is no statute in the law claiming that working an animal to death would be illegal. So incidences like the death of two dogs last year, Wyatt and Stiffy, would not be prosecuted. As is, there is no criminal investigation done whatsoever when a dog drops dead in a race. If any of this bothers you, then you're certainly not alone. There has been a call for a change to Alaska's animal cruelty laws for years. If you want to join the voice demanding that they be treated as more than just property in the eyes of the law, then please sign the petition attached to this video.